Reddit, what's some of your cringiest high school stories? I live in a hot tropical country, but I was fat, so I tried covering it up by wearing a XXL DC hoodie everywhere I went, even under the hot sun. People would ask me why I wore a jacket, I'd say I felt cold, even though I was sweating visibly. Everybody knew why, I know that now. Back when sour candies were all the rage, me and my friends would see who could hold the most in their mouth for the longest time. As someone who likes a challenge, I ended up shoveling a handful of those super sour toxic waste candies into mouth. Unfortunately, what I failed to realize is that sour stuff causes a lot of saliva production. So when my crush entered the cafeteria and made eye contact with me, I smiled, and multicolored drool literally flooded out of my mouth and slathered itself all over my t-shirt. She said to and walked away. I died a little inside that day. The most cringy thing I ever saw was my vice principal told a joke in front of the entire school during a meeting we were all forced to attend. The joke got crickets, then booze. Think that's the end? Now nah, this girl gets up in front of the entire school and stands up for the vice principal and tells us all to be respectful. She wasn't staff, she was just a student. She then got booed as well. I felt so bad for both of them. Surprisingly I didn't have many, but one from freshman year sticks out. I was really good friends with this kid and he. We had sort of a friend group, but he and I were particularly close. Everyone used to ask all the time if we were a couple. I really liked Andy, but he wanted to just be friends. Cool, no problem. So it comes time for the homecoming dance, and I had talked to most people in my friend group about asking Andy. Everyone agreed it'd be fine, because we're super close and he would obviously say yes. So after school one day I go meet this friend group, where we normally met. At this point, I had truly, madly, deeply convinced myself that Andy would definitely say yes. So I ask him in front of all of our friends if he wants to go with me. And he just kinda shrugs and goes, nah. So I'm like, oh, aren't you going? He confirms he's going. So I ask him if he is already going with someone. Nope. So finally I go, do you just not want to go with me? And he's like, yeah, pretty much. That one still crushes the soul a bit. <laughs> Went to a party 5 hours early, oblivious. A girl is inviting everyone to a party Friday night. I live out of town a bit and not entirely sure if I can get back in for the party, so I just hang around after school. A buddy tells me he's going early because he plays sports with the girl's brother, so I should just come early to hang out. For some reason I think early is like in an hour from that point. So I head over about 5pm to meet up. I knock. I hear come in. So I head in. I see the girl and her brother inside, and I say back quote buddy said he's coming early, and said I should come over. They are like back quote okay dude come in, and sit down, if you really want to. I do. They are setting the table for dinner, with their parents. Going to have a nice family dinner, and then clean up for the party. They ask me to join them. I say yes, because at this point I'm totally I'm over my head. I eat with them, help with dishes, watch a little TV, soon they are all good to go, the parents head out, and the night goes forward like nothing weird happened. Next Monday I'm, but of many many jokes, but people forgot about soon enough. <laughs> Worked up the courage, to ask a boy out. He reluctantly said sure. I then asked, if he'd want my number, so he could call me sometime. He again reluctantly said sure. I then proceeded to painfully cuff my number into the back of his hand to the point of almost drawing blood, because I was too embarrassed to ask for his pen, because mine wasn't working. He never called. When I was 14 I had a crush on this girl. Her younger sister told me she had a crush on me back, which was false. So me being the incredible naive kid I was, decided to ask her out. Only I did it from my mom's phone, by asking my youth pastor, to ask her for me. To no one's shock, and my complete embarrassment, she said no. What followed was easily the most awkward few weeks of my life at school. I can't believe your youth pastor played along, and didn't sit you down, and tell you to figure your own shit out. Now look son, Jesus didn't die for our sins for you to be using me like some type of Christian smingle. <laughs> Completely dead silent class. I ripped a loud fart. 
I tried to play it off by saying that my mouth made the noise. Tried to emulate the actual fart with pretend farts for about 30 seconds. After each pretend fart, I'd say, no that wasn't it, let me try again. All while sweating nervously and shaking AII freshman year of high school left and kill me. We used to have a school farm. 12 year old me used to find great amusement in chasing people with pig shit on a stick. One day I chased this goony kid around the playground while everyone watched and cheered. He finally had enough and whilst running, slapped the pig poo with the back of his hand. It flew straight off the stick and into my mouth. It just stuck there, half in, half out. Playground went silent for about 2 seconds before a huge eruption of laughter. Don't chase people with pig shit kids. Not worth it. Me and a few friends made some signs on A4 pieces of paper protesting against 9 over 11 and Al-Qaeda and walked around campus showing them to people. I have no idea what the fuck our aim was. I don't know who we were supposed to be showing our anger to or what we were trying to prevent, being that this was in response to 9 over 11. We just thought we were really cool and edgy because we dared to make signs. Oh, I do have a cringy story. Back when American Idol was kinda popular, and I used to watch it, there was this rocker guy I really liked, Constantine. He got voted off one night, and I got really upset about it, and put protest signs all over the school. Like, what were my classmates gonna do about it? I was bullied a lot in junior high by jocks. One of them sat behind me in class, and kept trying to slide things down the back of my pants. Finally I snapped during study time turned around and shouted, No. I won't go out with you. I keep telling you I'm not gay. Why don't you date a girl or something? Jesus Christ. I got in trouble for swearing. The words gay and Jesus Christ were swear words in 1982 Virginia, and the jock beat the shit out of me after school. Later in college, he came out as gay, though. Can you teach me the homo-inducing dragon shout? I wore a trench coat and a fedora all the time. Sometimes I wore headphones around my neck because I thought they made me look cool. I learned on the very last day of high school that they did not make me look cool when one of my friends said he only ate lunch with me because he thought I was going to become a school shooter and he didn't want to die. I came on to my grade 9 geography teacher. I flirted with him constantly, pretended I didn't understand anything so I could stay behind and talk to him after class, even though I was actually gifted and eventually got shot down really hard because he wasn't a pedophile. I once dyed my hair blonde and cried all through class because he didn't comment about whether it looked good. So embarrassing. Oh my god, you've resurfaced a repressed memory of mine. In my first year of high school, we had a substitute science teacher for a term. I really liked him, but not in a crush way. That didn't stop my friends from constantly making fun of me for being into him, to the point where I'd die of embarrassment if he was anywhere near me. After a few weeks of me blushing and being scared to look at him and having my friends going woo, slice, it's Mr. V, mwa mwa have my babies, he called me into his office. He sat me down and explained that it was nice that I liked him. But it was highly inappropriate for a 13 year old to have a crush on a 29 year old. I felt like I was going to melt into the floor. I just had to sit there and listen to him apologize to me and tell me off. And it definitely didn't stop my friends from making even more fun of me until well, after he finished up at my school. Went to a Catholic high school and was in a rebellion phase. Dyed my long hair black. Cut myself the whole nine. This angsty rebellion extended to my musical tastes too, which at that point were various flavors of metal. But of course, being the idiot that I was, I just had to let everyone know what I was listening to. Dying fetus. Hammer smashed face. Goat whore. Just various band slash song names that were purposefully outlandish slash offensive. I enjoyed the music, being as young as I was, but I reveled in these vulgarities while surrounded by my Catholic classmates. Until one day at lunch, this girl stops me mid-sentence while I was going on about the Cannibal Corpse concert I attended that weekend. Do you only listen to these bands because of their weird names? She saw through my bullshit and cut me down f you Jackie, you're too good. 
If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.